Hi, I'm Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and in this video I want to show you some exciting new improvements that we've made to the real-time report in Reports and Analytics in Adobe Analytics. I've got the real-time report open in front of me, and if you've seen the real-time report before, you'll notice that we've made some changes to the UI. Uh, I want to walk through those real quick, and then I'll, I'll show you how you can configure the real-time report if you have not yet used it. Uh, so the first thing that we've done uh, is we previously we showed the metric that you have selected, uh, but now in this top graph we've added a running percent change versus the same day last week. So as I'm recording this, it's a Thursday night, and uh, so this is telling me that versus last Thursday night at the same time, I'm up at this point about 2% in my page views um, week over week. So a great comparison feature right there to help you understand in real time how you're trending versus your historical data. Uh, we also have directly now on the graph a trend line showing same day last week as well as uh, same day last year, same 52 weeks ago um, in other words. So we would be looking at uh, the third Thursday in October um, last year. So, and I have no data for last year. This is a newer report suite, so that's why that, that pink line is all the way down there at the bottom on zero. We've also added a scale to the, uh, to the graph so that you can see your, uh, you can, you can put the data in, in context, and, uh, this just makes it easier for you to interpret your real time data. Uh, down in the main table, we've added a comparison column showing uh, page views or, or whatever metric you have selected for the current day alongside page views for the time period that you have selected in the real-time report. In this case, that's 15 minutes. Um, the reason that this is great is that if you have, say you have a uh, so let's take this take this top item. We have 58 page views. Now, 58 page views in the last 15 minutes compared to 6,200 for the day tells me that while this might be my top page in the last 15 minutes, it's not really exploding. It's not trending uh, up significantly because uh, it's you know the last 15 minutes is just a, a tiny fraction of the uh, of the day overall. Uh, whereas if this number were say um, you know, 3,000, then that would tell me that I've, I've got almost 50% of today's page views just within the last 15 minutes, and that gives me a signal that this uh, page or this whatever, whatever that dimension is in the real-time report is really exploding, and maybe I want to give it some attention in, uh, in, uh, on my site or in my app. Uh, though, those are the, uh, those are the primary features in the, uh, the real-time report that we've added uh, with this most recent release in October 2015. If you haven't configured the real-time report, you can come in here under uh, View All Reports and go to uh, Real-Time. And if you haven't configured it, you'll have a link right in there to um, set up the real-time report so that you can uh, work with it. If you have set uh, part of it, or even if you haven't, you can always click on configure. If you're an ad, if you're an administrative user, or an administrator, uh, that will take you to the admin console where you can choose your metric and your dimensions, and you can, uh, of course, build up to three of them, and uh, then uh, view that in uh, in real time. And uh, so, hopefully, you uh, enjoy these new changes and. Uh, we believe that they'll make the real-time report and the data that you get out of this report uh, much more valuable and actionable for uh, all of your teams.